YouTube, man, what's good with y'all, man? It's your boy, none of the swole, none of the chosen one, none of the glow. Back with another video. Let's go, man. 202 days on, uh, on SR, you feel me? On semen retention, on nofap, on monk mode, feel me? We not edging. We staying on the journey. Now, today is what? Day two of eye retention? You feel me? Day two of eye retention or day one? What is it? Is it day one? Because we all failed yesterday. If you were in the live stream yesterday, you failed eye retention. Feel me? I'm just keeping it a buck. I failed eye retention yesterday. You feel me? I'm going to keep it real. I don't have to lie. I failed eye retention yesterday. Because you know why? In the live stream, when I was live streaming at the gym, y'all was like, nah, nah, show us the female. Nah, nah, show us the female. And I showed y'all the female. You feel me? And bros, she was wearing leggings. She was wearing, you feel me, shows that, uh, clothes that, you feel me, were tightening up, tightening, tightening up her glutes. So we seen the glutes. So <laughs> we all failed eye retention. I don't want to hear it. You failed. You feel me? But it's not the end all be all. You feel me? Just get back on the journey of eye retention. I hope you're still on your semen retention journey. Shout out to the new subscribers. Shout out to the new supporters. Shout out to y'all in the Discord. If you are not in the Discord, another self-promo. Join the Discord. Join the Discord because we are litty. We are lit like bit. We are lit. You feel me? They be going crazy in there. We about to hit 500 members. We're like, what, 430 members? 500 coming soon. 1,000 coming soon. 2,000 coming soon. 2,000 coming soon. You feel me? Just all above, bros. We're just going to keep growing everywhere in our lives, bro. Because this is what it's about. This is what it's about. It's about building a strong community of righteous men, of righteous women. It's a, it's a, this is what it's really about. This is why I built this community. I built that Discord. I built this channel. So I can bring all of us together who are righteous and trying to do right for this world together so we can make a bigger impact. You feel me? But before I start this video, I need y'all to like the con the content. I need y'all to always share it to other people. I don't care if you're sharing it on TikTok. I don't care if you're sharing it on Instagram, Snapchat. Spread the truth so people can wake up. Because it's 2022. People need to wake up. They can't still be sleeping. They can't be. You feel me? We must inspire other men to retain. We must inspire other men to be masculine. Other men to, you feel me, to accept Jesus Christ. Other people in general to accept Jesus Christ. Not just men, but everybody. Because God is coming soon. Jesus Christ is coming soon. I'm telling y'all, bro. You feel me? But let me get into the uh, the topic for today. Deep conversations on this journey, man. Like, I'm a type of guy who's a relationship type guy. Let me know what type of guys y'all are, man. Are y'all a relationship type guy? Do y'all just want to hit it and quit it? Or y'all want to actually have a relationship with the female before you actually want to do that? You're in a marriage or you're actually in a deep relationship. I don't want to just be out here and go crazy. Brothers, that's not worth it. That's not worth it at all whatsoever. If you are not in a relationship and you're just sleeping around with HO3s and you're telling me that's okay. I think I had one subscriber in my comment section saying, nah, nah, it's okay to sleep around with women. Who told you that's okay? Who told you that's okay? You are going against the commandments of God. You are going against the commandments. You're going against, you feel me, what God has said to be. To not fornicate until you are in marriage or you're in a deep relationship, brothers. That is fornication. That is adultery. We must understand that. Feel me? I'm drinking my water. I took my CMOS this morning. I'm feeling kind of right. Feeling kind of right. But... That's fornication. That, there's no such thing as that. Sleeping around with a woman every time is right. That's not right. You're giving your energy up. Some of y'all might say, oh, well, I, I, I have intercourse, but I don't release. Guess what? If you're not married to her, if you're not in a, in a relationship, that is fornication. What do you think that is? Even though you're not releasing, that's edging and that's still fornication. So, bros, there's no excuse, you feel me, to live in a righteous lifestyle. If you want to live a righteous lifestyle, you must live it. You can't have excuses uh, trying to go or beat around the bush. No, you must live it or you don't live it. You must accept Christ or you don't accept Christ. It is your choice. From God gave us free will. I'm telling you, God gave every single human being the chance, you feel me, that, that free will choice. You're, you're, you're able to do what you want. But I'm telling you right now, doing what you want, Relying on yourself is going to be the hardest thing you will ever have to do in your life. When I rely on Jesus Christ's strength, bros, I don't struggle no more. 
Now, I'm not saying I'm not human and I don't go through things behind closed doors. No, I'm just saying I barely struggle. Me gaining strength, I ask Jesus Christ for strength. I ask God to forgive me for my sins because we're all sinners. We're not perfect. Simple. Y'all just must understand, man. If you want to live this life of being righteous, you must fully accept it. You cannot be beating around the bush. You can't. Some of y'all are like, oh, well, that's being perfect. That's not being perfect. Living for Christ, you, you know what? No one says you can't have fun. Who told you you can you, Who told you you can live for Christ and not have fun? You can live for Christ and have fun still, but that fun must be righteous fun. Simple. It's not that hard to understand, brothers. It's not that hard to understand. Stop partying. Stop drinking. Stop smoking. Stop relapsing all the time. You feel me? Stop doing these ungodly things. You can still have fun. Go for runs. Gain new knowledge. Gain new skills. Feel me? Open up a job. Open up a business. Open up, you feel me, something that is creative. Start to draw. Bros, you can do a lot of things that will actually, you feel me, be righteous. That will actually, you feel me, fulfill you. What you like to do, probably. Your passion. I'm starting to like deep conversations. I don't want to just hit it and quit it. No. That's for, that. In my opinion, if you're a man like that, you are just, you're just a man, you feel me, who, who's weak. I'm just keeping it a buck. If you're a man, just you just want to hit a female. You just want to have intercourse and just leave. You're weak. You're weak. That's just my opinion on that. Let me know your opinion on that. You're weak. I actually enjoy having a relationship. You feel me? A deep relationship with females. I don't just want to, you feel me? Just have intercourse. That is nothing. You feel me? That, Bro, intercourse is literally comes last in my opinion, bro. It comes last. Especially when I'm in a relationship. That's going to come last. I'm not going to put... S3X over, you feel me, our connections with the most high, you feel me, our connections just together, being friends even in that relationship. I'm not going to put that above God. I'm not going to put S3X above that, all, all these things, bruh. S3X is not important. It's going to drain you as a man if you keep relapsing, if you keep having S3X. It's going to drain you. I don't care if you're not relapsing, if you're not releasing the seed. You're practicing tantra, if that's what they call it, whatever that is. Bros, I don't believe in that. I'm not... Even if it's a thing, I don't suggest y'all should do it because I feel like you are risking and you are playing around with the seed. You are risking the seed because eventually you will relapse. You will. Edging, bro, edging always comes with a consequence. Edging always comes with you busting a nut, you relapsing. It's going to happen. Stop trying to think, you feel me? Oh, I'm doing that, so I'm cool. No, you're not cool, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like I, I just want to keep it as real as possible, bro. I've never done that and I never will feel me i never will practice that tantra whatever that is you you feel me you have intercourse without releasing i just don't i don't agree with it i feel like it is something that is very risky it is very very risky it's the same way when you edge it's very risky to relapse it's risky the chances of you relapsing is 98.9 percent 98.9 percent bro for me now nah, nah, i didn't do no research on that i'm just putting a number on that because that's how i feel like it is 98.9 percent .9 bros we must understand bro you feel me? We must understand. We shouldn't be, for me, playing around with the seed. We shouldn't be um, thinking this is a game. This is a joke. At the end of the day, I'm not the meat police. I'm always say that. I'm not the meat police. You feel me? I'm not here to instruct you on what you do to, with your digging stick. I'm here to give you advice. I'm here to inspire you to actually retain so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm 202 days in. Look at, look at my voice. Listen to my voice, bro. Masculine power energy leadership a man of god like keep leveling up brothers but let me know what type of men y'all really are man do y'all like deep conversations or do y'all really just want to hit it and quit it do y'all just want to have an intercourse you feel me because it's, it's feeling good so i just want to oh i just want to bust a nut real quick and i'm gone you're weak you are weak the amount of confidence we gain on this journey bro it's going to be much easier for you to hold deep conversations. It's going to be easier for you to actually look people in their eyes when they're having this deep conversation with you. It doesn't even have to be females. It can be other men. Pause. You know I mean? There's nothing really wrong with having conversation with other, conversations with other men. It can be business ideas, making money ideas, from talking about SR, inspiring him to do better in this world, to accept Jesus Christ. These are the things you can be talking with people about, these deep conversations. These are deep conversations, bro. You talking to Jesus? You talking about Jesus Christ? You talking about Seymour retention, brothers? That's deep. You feel me? That's very, very deep. 
I'm got I've got to the point in my journey where when people find out about my YouTube channel, I don't care anymore because this is who I am. You either accept it or you leave it, bros. You must understand. People, people are either going to accept you or they're not going to accept you. And you should only, you feel me, be be satisfied with the people who accept you. Stop worrying about people who don't accept you. Who cares about that? You should accept yourself, first of all. You feel me? If you know, you feel me, who you truly are and who God has called you to be, you shouldn't care about other pe people's opinions when they're trying to judge you. It shouldn't matter. So my channel is here. You feel me? My channel is here to inspire people. So it's always going to be up. I don't care what people think. I don't care what people got to say, what I'm talking about. Oh, he's talking about semen retention. What? You think I care, bros? No. You're either going to take the knowledge or you're going to leave the knowledge. And this knowledge, I know for sure, is going to change your life. So it's up to you. It's up to you. You feel me? I'm going to keep preaching regardless. But these deep conversations are hitting well, very, very different. Like, it's truly hitting different. Like, when I would just be having conversations with some of my supporters, my subscribers... I don't really call y'all subscribers. I call y'all family. I call y'all supporters because y'all support me. Y'all are my family. You feel me? But when y'all really hit me up and I have these deep conversations with y'all about SR, about life, about knowledge, skills, making money, uh, uh, knowledge, making money skills. You feel me? Getting closer to God. All of these things, bro. When y'all hit me up and we have deep conversations, it hits very different. Y'all might not think, you feel me? Y'all might think, oh, he's getting views. He's getting subscribers. You feel me? He's up there. So he's not going to hit me up. Bros, ask anybody who hit me up. I'm a humble dude. <laughs> I don't even really got to say I'm humble. Y'all can just sense it. Y'all can just tell. I'm humble. I don't got to, you feel me, act Hollywood. When y'all hit me up, I hit you up. When you call me, I call you back. And if I don't pick up at that time, you feel me, probably busy. But I call you back. I text you back. You feel me? I'm humble. I'm not going to let subscribers get to my head. I'm not going to let all these, the, 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 the money, you feel me, the, 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 what's it called the views none of these things is getting to my head i'm a man of god you feel me none of that really matters to me i just want the message to be pushed i really want the message to be pushed i want men to realize their potential i want people in general to realize their potential and and in the way society has t has turned everything to be to, to make it seem like we're living this is a good life we ain't living no good life talking about fapping talking about releasing your seed that's not no good life that's bad life we're living a bad life you feel me? That's not a good life. Stop being brainwashed by the society, bros. Stop. Because it's really getting sickening to see other men just simp all the time. Just simp. Literally just simp, 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 simp. It is getting sickening to me. I, I hate seeing men just simp. I just don't like that. Because as a masculine man, we don't do that. So it's like when you see other men doing it, you're like, bro, come on. Oh, man, bros. You must learn, man. If you're on my channel right now, I, I pray you learn something because God did not put you on my channel for no reason. God wanted you to really learn about this. God really wanted you to learn about life. God really wanted you to learn about him and what he can really do in your life when you accept Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, brothers, and take that Passover. Indeed. You feel me? Man, look, man, th th this journey has really changed my perspective on life. It's really changed the way I just view people, the way I talk to people, deep conversations with people. You feel me? I want to I, I wanna have a deep conversation now. I don't want to just talk about lust, S3X, oh, partying, clubbing. All of that doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't stimulate my brain. It doesn't do that no more, man. Like, none of those things actually stimulate your boy, not all those souls' brain. I'm just a different type of man. And then y'all can probably vouch. You're probably a different type of man yourself. We're different out here, bruh. For me, most men get stimulation from just talking about lust all the time. I'm, I, I don't get that, bruh. <laughs> like, of course, I'm still a man. I still like females. But it's like, if that's all we talking about, it ain't deep. <laughs> it ain't deep, bruh. It ain't deep. Y'all feel what I'm saying? S3X ain't deep. It's a spiritual practice. That's deep. But the, the, the form of it, like with the way society is making it seem, is making it seem like it ain't really deep. Like, it's not deep. People just want to do it to, to, to feel good, to have pleasure. And I, I don't find no 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 real reason to do this, to, 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 to fap, to, 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 to fornicate. I'm not in a relationship, man. Like, I need, I need deep relationships. I, I'm a type of guy who likes relationships. Like, I want to be in a relationship first. Before I do these things, married first. Before I do these things, I'm 19. I'm still young. You feel me? And I know marriage is probably going to be, like, later on in life. But I'm definitely going to get in a relationship. A relationship will happen. 
but I'm not going to force anything. I let things flow to me. I let God bring it into my life divinely. I don't chase nothing. I don't chase, you feel me, that, that relationship. No, it's if it either comes or not, I'm going to be on my grind. Simple. You feel me? My brothers, man, I, I don't know if it's only me, but the confidence I've gained just makes me want to have deep conversations. Just makes me want to approach females and actually see where their head's at. Because I don't care if she's bad. I don't care if she looks good. If she doesn't have the brains and she's just dumb, she's just there because she has the looks. What kind of female is that? She just has the looks. She, she's dumb. She, she has no brain. That's, that, that's not the type of female I want to be around. You can look good. Who cares? Cool. You look good. You look good. Okay, cool. Kudos to you. But you're dumb. You don't got a brain. Bros, that does not stimulate me. Your looks, cool, that's cool. I'm going to look at you, that's it. But you ain't speaking. You ain't got no knowledge that stimulated my mind. No skills stimulated my mind. That ain't deep. Your looks ain't deep. God gave everybody looks. Even if you're so-called ugly, that's not even really a word. Who created ugly? Bros, wake up. You feel me? Like, who really created the word ugly? God created, created you in his image. So why would you think you're ugly? Why would you listen to somebody saying you're ugly? Who even created that word? Have you ever thought about that? It's very, very deep. That's deep right there. Who created that word ugly? If God created every single one of us in his image, why would you call yourself ugly? Bros, the, the looks God gave you, man, you should be blessed because there is somebody there out there for everybody. That's how I feel. I don't know how y'all feel. I feel like there's somebody there for everybody, man. If whatever type of person you are, you have somebody who likes that type of personality, that type of look. Simple. Y'all may, y'all may not believe it, but you should. Don't think you're ugly. Like, bro, what? God created you in his image. So it don't make sense to call yourself ugly, bros. So what you going to say? You going to call, you going to call the most high God ugly? And we know that ain't true. For me, the most high is radiating positivity. The most high is radiating light, radiating energy, attractive. You feel me? Brothers, deep conversations really stimulate my mind now on this journey man let me know y'all y'all thoughts let me know y'all opinions on this video let me know if y'all been experiencing just talking to people and you're just so stimulated by their knowledge you're just so stimulated for the way they from the way they talk like i don't want a female who just looks good and she's just gonna sit there and act dumb that's not a turn on that's a turn off she's not stimulating my mind that most men just want her for the looks i'm a king i want you for your brains stop playing Bros, if you're a king, if you're a truly a king, you want females for their brains. Of course, we're men. We're still visual. We want you to look good a little bit. But that's not the head. That's not the end all be all if you don't look good. If you got the brains, you can cook. You got the brains. You got skills. You got knowledge. You're nurturing. You're feminine. That is crazy right there. That is crazy. I can talk to you for days. I can literally talk to you for days. You're not on Instagram. You're not conforming to, the, to this world. You're not doing things of this world. You're a woman of God. That's, bro, that's that's so different right there. I ain't gonna lie. Feel me? I know I know. we're going, us men on SR, we're going to attract that female eventually, but I just can't wait. <laughs> that's gonna be a blessing from the most high when we get that right feminine female in our life. It's gonna be a truly a blessing, brothers. You're gonna have these real deep conversations because you're so confident. You go around and if you people, you feel me, other men just so nervous. They just so like beta. I don't really want to use that word. I don't be using those betas, alphas. I don't use none of that, but it's just they're, they're beta. They are like they don't want to grow. They don't want to learn nothing in this world. They just want to talk, talk about S3X. They just want to talk about lust. I don't know if I'm the only one who's got to this point, but I've got to the point where I'm fed up of just talking about lust, talking about S3X. It is it, not fun. It's not fun. I've beat my addiction. I beat my, my, my hub addiction. I beat it. With God, I beat it. I literally beat it. So it does not stimulate me to watch them websites. It actually disgusts me. Like it's nasty and it disgusts me. That's the point I've got to. That's literally the point I have got to in my journey where, where the, these demonic websites disgust your boy non other soul. It does not please me. It does not stimulate my brain. I want a deep conversation with a with a female, you feel me, who got skills, she got knowledge. That's gonna stimulate my brain. She's teaching me something new. Mm. The same way us kings gonna teach her something new because we're kings. We're gonna teach anybody we come across, you feel me, new. We know so much. Y'all gotta understand, we're on this journey, man. We know so much. We have like literally 
one of the, 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 the key things in life, one of them, not all, not the end of be all, one of the key things in life to, to, you feel me, to make it, to draw closer to the Father God. One of the key things, this is just the journey, the sexual energy cultivation. That's one of the things in life every person should do, cultivate their sexual energy. And we know these things, right? We have so much knowledge to better your life. We're not God that can save you. No, we're just going to help you, you feel me, lead you to Jesus Christ so he can actually save you. We're just going to give you the advice that's actually going to really help you. Man, this journey is very deep, brothers. But let me know. For me, let me know, man. What, what, what y'all thinking? You feel me? It's kind of cold out here today, man. It's on, I'm in Ohio, man. 22 degrees, brothers. You feel me? I'm just chilling, bro. I'm honestly just fed up with the, this world, low key. Like, I've got to the point where I'm just fed up with people conforming to just be normal, be average. No, I'm great. So it's like when I see people just trying to be average all the time. I know I'm going to be great. I know I'm going to have the riches. I know I'm going to live a lavish life. I know I'm going to be inspiring millions of people. So when I see other people just living average, it just doesn't make sense to me. I don't know if I'm the only one, but it just doesn't make sense to me. It, it really, it, it's like it, it pierces through my spirit. Like it just makes me low-key like, bro, why, bro? You just want to sit there and do nothing, bro? Like, I, I can't do that. As somebody who has so much greatness God put within me, I can't just sit there and do nothing. I got to use my gifts. Y'all should use y'all gifts. Use your gifts, man. Have these deep conversations. If you're on SR, you must be confident. You should be confident. I hope you're doing other things to make you confident by working out, transmuting your energy, getting into the word of God, praying every single day, hitting your fasting, finding your purpose. These things will also make you confident. Holding your seed. You should do these things so you can actually have these deep conversations with people, not just women. Stop. Get your mind off of women all the time. No, other people who can help you elevate in the world. Simple. You feel me? You might meet a celebrity one day. You might meet somebody who just is going to open that. You feel me? Bring that 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 knowledge into your life, into your life that you really need to go to the next level. F -f Simple. It either it may be a female, maybe a male. It doesn't matter. But they're just going to give you that knowledge that you really need to take you to that next step. God put you in there. God put them in your life. You feel me? To elevate you. The people you meet on a day to day basis ain't just regular people. No, these, these are people God wants you to meet. These are people God really wants you to meet. These are the conversations God really wants you to have with these type of people because he's ordained everything. Everything is in God's steps, in God's order. You feel me? But brothers, man, like, comment, share, and subscribe my content. You feel me? I just want y'all to know, man, when you keep going on your journey of SR, you're going to love deep conversations. Feel me? You're going to not, you're not really going to find the, the conversations of this world not fun. It's not going to be fun. It's just not going to be fun. Conversations of this world ain't going to really please you. It ain't going to really help you. You just going to be looking at that, them like, bro, you're of this world. You're not going to hate them, but you're just going to see where you feel me, where their head is at. You're going to see what type of person they are. If they're of this world or if they're of God, you're going to know it soon off the, straight off the bat, what they talking about. If they talking about smoking, oh, we know what type of person that is. They're talking about, you feel me, drinking? Oh, we know what type of person that is. They're talking about releasing they see, releasing they glow, fapping, busting nuts. You feel me? Oh, where, where, the, where, where the HO3s at? Oh, we know what type of men they are. We know what type of females they are when they always just want to go to parties, club. You feel me? Be on Instagram. We know what type of person they are. Tell me why I was at work yesterday, brothers. You feel me? And these four men, you feel me? Four men were literally, they were at the Chick-fil-A table. They were eating. You feel me? They, they came to Chick-fil-A. They were eating. They called me over and said, come here, bro. You feel me? You're like, bro, where are the HO3s at? They ask your boy, not all those soul, where are the HO3s? Y'all know what that means. Where are the HO3s? And I told him, I don't know, bro. Where are they? You feel me? Where are they? What was I supposed to say? A answer that question? I said, where are they, bro? So, you see, those type of conversations don't please me no more. It, 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 like, literally, I was just... I was low-key speechless to the point where I, I was low-key just going to walk away because... I can see what type of men they are. Talking about, we got a hotel down the crib, bro. Some you got some HO3s, bro? He was like, bro, we got some, you feel me? All of them, literally all of them. They were like, oh, bro, we got a hotel right across the street, bro. You feel me? Where the HO3s, bro? I was like, bro, where are they, bro? I don't know. Yeah, I'm at work. <laughs> I'm at work. I'm chilling. You feel me? Y'all talking about where the HO3s, man. They, you feel me? They, they trying to fornicate. They are trying to fornicate. And you think a man like me can hang around men like that? That's impossible. I, I would never conform to that. I would never do that. Like, it's it got to the point where, man, man, look, bros, y'all are going to love this journey, but it's like, you're going to see a lot of things that's going to happen. You're going to see it. 
Look around your surroundings. Look around you when you're on the journey. Look at the things that's going on. Some of y'all be like, no, nah, no, nah, stay focused, stay focused. Bro, I'm focused. Stop saying stay focused. I'm focused. I'm just looking around to see my surroundings. When I was at the gym yesterday, I had some of y'all saying, no, nah, no, nah, stay focused. Bro, what you want me to do? Just keep looking down and keep looking at my workout? Like, you don't want me to look around if you see who's around me, bro? Y'all be bugging. No cap. I know y'all be doing that too. Y'all be y'all y'all trying to tell me you just be looking straight. You don't even look. You don't look right. You don't look left. You don't look behind you. Who's you don't look around your surroundings? That's cap. You feel me? That's cap. <laughs> so hop off of your boy Nano of Souls tip. You feel me, bro? I just want y'all to understand, bro. This journey, man, it's going to like I don't know, bro. It's, it's, it's very, like, it, it's just very eye-opening, man. Like, that's the word I can give it. It's very eye-opening, man. Like, you're going to see a lot of things for what they truly are, bro. You feel me? This might be a 30-minute video because I'm just, like, in a flow state. God is speaking through me right now, bros. Like, people who do these things of the world does not even stimulate my mind. It doesn't. It does not. Like, females who are just so controlling. Females who try to act masculine. <laughs> Bros, you don't know how much that turns off a masculine man. How that, how much that turns off a man of God. That turns us off when you try to be so controlling as a woman. You're a woman. You're literally a woman. Not to be my ego. I'm just keeping it a buck. Man was created first. Man are the head. We are masculine. But you got females out here trying to be controlling. You feel me? And they expect to get a good man. They expect to be in a good relationship and a good marriage. Bros, that's females. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. You ain't going to attract a king like myself being so quote unquote masculine. That's not going. You're not masculine. You feel me? Just trying to be controlling and just so like, I don't know, aggressive as a female. I'm not going to say aggressive because I'm not weak, but they're controlling. They try to control you with what they're saying. They try to control you with their V-box, what's between their legs. And they try to call themselves a woman of God. How? How, how are you a woman of God, but you still controlling at the same time? That don't, that don't make no sense. Please don't, you don't put nothing on the father that y'all be capping about, bro. Stop saying on G's. You feel me? Stop, stop saying that. Stop saying, oh, I put it on G. I put it on. Stop doing that. If you capping, stop doing that. You should like just stop swearing. Stop saying God's name in vain. Simple. It's one of the commandments. You got you just out here being controlling. So many females trying to be controlling because society's telling them, oh, they bad. Society's telling them, oh, because they got the V box. I. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro! I'm just so like leveled up. Like I, like I, I. I Sometimes I don't even feel like I'm in this world, bro. <laughs> like, I'm in it, but I'm not of it. Y'all understand? We in this world, but we not of it, brothers. We not of it. And this is what people don't understand, because when we when we, when we say we don't want to do certain things, they look at us like we're lame. They look at us like we're not cool. No, I just don't want to hang around you because your energy is low. You're of the world. I'm a man of God. Like, bros, this video is going to hate deep. This video is going to hit some of y'all's spirit very deep. I want y'all to understand. Watch the whole video. If you're watching to the end right now, I need to see great video, Nana. If you actually watch the end, this is how I'm going to know if y'all watch to the end. I need you to type in the comment section, great video, Nana, with fire emojis. Great video, Nana, with fire emojis. If you stay to the end right now, <clears throat> if you're still watching, shout out to you. You feel me? I love you. But <clears throat> I'm going to end it off, you feel me, right here. Just, just, just notice the deep conversations. Just notice the the, the energy shifts. Just, just notice where you, when you walk in rooms, the way people are looking. For me, the way people are just so closed off. They nervous. They have anxiety, but you don't. So it just makes you feel some some type of weight because everybody else is nervous. Everybody else got anxiety. So it's like, it's like, bruh, you don't even know what to feel. Like, cause you're so confident. People, you know, people gonna look at you because you're confident. 
And I know I ain't the only one who be experiencing this. I walk in the room, people are so nervous, but I'm confident. They just looking like, uh, why is he so confident? They just so envious. This world, bro. <laughs> this world, bro. I'm. <sighs> I feel like I had a spirit, another spiritual awakening on 200 days, bruh. Because I'm 202. I'm just seeing things for what they truly are. The fake smiles. The fake energy. The fake people. The fake society. The fake illusions. Like, I'm just tired of it all. Honestly. But let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know the way I'm feeling. Let me know the way y'all feeling too down below. Just if, I'm, if you're feeling the same way, let me know y'all experiences. Just type, type, type. I don't care. Type. Get off your chest, bros. You feel me? But like, comment, share, and subscribe, man. You feel me? Like I, I, I'm just awakening, bro. I feel like I have, I'm having another one because things are, things are just not the same, bro. The way I used to think, it ain't the same. The way I move, it ain't the same. The way I talk, it ain't the same. The way I'm just, my beliefs, my, my thoughts, it ain't the same. Me as a whole, I'm not the same. <sighs> But I hope some of y'all will understand, you feel me? I hope some of y'all probably will, you feel me? But like, comment, share, man, and I'm out.